Now let's make some really dirty water. Get a glass and get some dirt from the garden and put, oh, I don't know, a few spoonfuls in there. That should do the job. And then top it up with clean water, like this. I think you must admit that that's pretty convincingly dirty water. So how would you want to wash your face or your hands in that? Or in fact, do anything with it. It's far too grubby. But it brings us to this problem. How can you clean the water? Well, there's several ways. You could boil it and distill it, but that's pretty difficult. Or you could tip it into a filter funnel and filter it all out. That's pretty difficult too. There is, in fact, a much easier way. You can do it, really, with just another glass and a bit of rag. What you have to do is to bring the dirty glass over here, the clean glass underneath it, then get a bit of rag or something like it, and it's best, I think, to wet it first in clean water because that speeds the process up. Wring it out so you're not really cheating by getting lots of clean water there, and arrange it like a wick, which goes into the dirty water there, over the corner, and down into the clean glass. And then you leave it, oh, I suppose, for about two or three hours. And that was even faster than I thought because it only took about one hour. You can see I've got all the mud there and the almost clean water down there. How does it work? Well, very simply. You know that you use a rag to wipe up moisture because it soaks up into the rag or the tissue. But it keeps on soaking so that if you bend that rag round the corner, it'll soak down again and drip out the other end. And that's what it's done here. The thing is those fibres of the rag are so closely spaced that all it will let up into it is the water. It leaves all the mud particles and the bits of stone and grass and stuff behind, except for the very smallest particles. So as it goes up there and down the other side, dripping out, it leaves you almost clean water. Well, it's not clean enough for me to want to drink it, because there might be a germ or two there, but it's clean enough for almost anything else, including washing your hands.